After over six years of uploading, we're finally here at the 25,000 subscriber milestone. The last milestone was just over eight months ago, and at the time, I thought it would be the last major milestone that we'd hit. Well, here we are, 15,000 subscribers later, for what this time probably will be the last major milestone we'll ever hit. I've always uploaded videos to YouTube because I feel it's productive and provides entertainment for people. For most of these six years though, I didn't gain much traction. It was right after the start of lockdown where things started to take off. So let's have a look back at some of my favourite moments and I'll talk you through why they made it onto the list. PTFS Manhunt. This idea was obviously inspired by the Minecraft Manhunt series and I'm really pleased with how it went, going on to have three episodes that were great fun to make. It's quite rare for my videos to do well if they're not a PTFS update showcase video, but these managed to break through. Maybe we'll have the fourth episode in the future. Every PTFS player series. Once again, another unique series to have three episodes, this time spread across quite a long period of time. One of the most iconic PTFS series is out there, and one that I really enjoyed recording. PTFS Blue Angels. I couldn't be more pleased that one of my videos that gained a lot of attention was this one, one that I'd put quite a fair bit of effort into, and one that reflects the type of content that I enjoy making. I think it would be great to do the same again, but with the red arrows. Vulcan added to PTFS. After months of the community and I pleading for the Vulcan to be added to PTFS, it was added and I was overjoyed. Tilted gear update. This is one of the many things that makes PTFS stand out and it was great fun working with Orange to add this. It was also great seeing everyone's reactions when it was announced. Lightning engine run. This was unbelievably loud, and for a long time, and at a short distance. After this, I'd muffled and ringing hearing for the next few days as I was silly enough not to wear ear defenders, and was extremely lucky not to get permanent hearing damage. Also, this made me jump. Ride in an extra 200. Before I started flying in the Cessna 152, I'd had an aerobatic flight in an extra 200, meaning the first light aircraft I'd ever flown in was a stunt plane, which is pretty cool. This was slightly scary at the time, but once you're in the air, it feels amazing. The latest update, and definitely the biggest one. I'd spent months coding a new plane system for PTFS, Orange has spent a very long time implementing it into all the planes, and then there were all of the other new features. What a day it was when it was released. Victory for Vulcan. What an amazing fortnight this was. We absolutely smashed the goal and got over £1,700 raised for the Vulcan Restoration Trust with the help of all of you and the PeaceFest community. I definitely want to do something like this again, and if anyone has any ideas of how this could be done, make sure to comment down below. The XL426 December Taxi Run. This was quite soon after the fundraiser finished, and everyone was very excited to see what their donations had gone towards. Despite the weather being appalling, it was an amazing day, and I was there with Orange. XM655 Taxi Run. A few weeks ago, I live streamed this awesome event featuring Vulcan XM655. We were right up close to the aircraft when it started up, and it was a great experience. XL46 June Taxi Run. This is probably the second favourite day of my entire life. On the day, we got up early in the morning, got in the car and went down to Southland Airport. I'd arranged to put a couple of cameras on board, which resulted in a great video. We had quite a few camera operators, including myself and Patron, and it was great to be able to capture it from multiple angles. The parachute deployment was a big surprise for some people, and it was incredible to see the size of the chutes. 
What a day. We're ready for the fast run this time with the parachute deployment. Park and Roger, runway 05, surface wind 090 degrees 9 knots. High speed run and short shoot deployment is approved. Okay. XL46 September taxi run. When I found out that I'd be on board XL46 for this taxi run, I literally froze and struggled to comprehend it. Anyway, when the day came, I arrived nice and early, took some shots of the Vulcan, and surely it was time for me to get on board. I went on the jump seats and was very impressed with the efficiency of the crew's checklists and comms. This was definitely the best day of my entire life. You too. And that's the match I'm gonna get. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you everyone for supporting my efforts to create a page of interesting videos. I've really enjoyed it so far and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the future brings. I'll see you next time.